doing? I'm saving the world. Saving the world? Killing yourself can save the world? Yeah, that makes sense. No, I'm not killing myself. I'm producing smoke to generate clouds to cool up the planet and put an end to global warming. I don't get it. Here, let me show you how clouds are formed. Water is everywhere on the Earth. Because the sun heats up our planet, some of the water evaporates like in a hot cup of coffee. This water vapor rises in the air and then condenses into tiny little droplets which eventually become a cloud. But this is not the whole story. It is actually very hard for water vapor to condense just by itself. Water vapor needs some surface to condense onto. These surfaces are provided by tiny particles in the air, which we call aerosols. Some sources of aerosols are ashes from volcanoes, dust, and ocean spray. When the water vapor meets these aerosols in the air, it condenses around them and forms the tiny droplets, just like water condenses into a cold can of soda. While human activities produce greenhouse gases, they also produce aerosols. This is very interesting because as you know, greenhouse gases warm the planet but aerosols on the other hand help cool it. Here, let me show you how this works. Here you can see the water vapor condensing onto a few aerosols. However, if there are more aerosols in the air, the same amount of water vapor will have more surfaces to condense onto. We will then have more water droplets in the cloud, making it denser. So what happens if you have a denser cloud? Denser clouds help cool the planet as you will see now. So this is the sun, this table is the earth, and this is a normal cloud. Okay. You can see light going through it, reaching the surface and heating it up. With a denser cloud, with more aerosols, more light will be reflected into space instead of reaching the surface, so the surface won't get as hot. See, by smoking and producing aerosols, thus cooling the planet and saving the world. But by reducing the light that reaches the surface, you're also reducing the energy available for evaporation. With less energy, we have less evaporation and less precipitation at the end. Have you thought of that? No, that's a very good point. Yes, and this is a very important effect because we need precipitation to transport water around the planet. We need rain for agriculture, for rivers and dams to have water. And we need snow if we want to ski. So by smoking, you're essentially destroying the Winter Olympics. <gasps> Plus, aerosols also cause respiratory problems, and smoking makes you smell really bad. 